Hello. Uh, today we will uh, cover chapter 10, uh, Quality Management and Six Sigma. When we say quality, um, maybe um, uh, people to uh, people, maybe different uh, definition of uh, quality. Yes, there is no uh, firm single uh, definition for the uh, quality. Definition of quality uh, different uh, based on view. So there are uh, many uh, view about the uh, quality. Transcendent view, product based view, user based view, uh, manufacturing based view, and value based view. First, transcendent view. From this uh, view, uh, quality is not uh, precisely defined because we don't know um, numeric data or something. So it is an unanalyzable uh, property and then uh, recognize only through experience. Maybe uh, my uh, own experience or from others' experience, we can say uh, quality of uh, product or service. Also, uh, this uh, from uh, this view, quality is innate excellent. Even I don't um, have experience. I don't have experience uh, about the uh, Mercedes Benz, but we know Mercedes Benz uh, car is good, and people say it's good. Why? We don't know because we don't have. Uh, Sometimes we don't have uh, experience, but people say, and then commercial, and also uh, maybe it is expensive, so we know Mercedes Benz is good, nice car. And other side, even we don't know uh, about that, but uh, um, Something from uh, mm, not recognized in the company, then uh, oh maybe that is not good. From a uh, uh, company's uh, ref, uh, reference or uh, um, their uh, name, maybe uh, you can say uh, that is not good. So from this uh, transcendent view. Uh, quality is innate, excellent, and so on. Like a Cadillac, Mercedes Benz, maybe BMW. That is, uh, those new cars are good. And then earlier, um, like ten years ago, uh, twenty years ago, uh, Samsung, LG. American people uh, didn't know uh, what is uh, about the Samsung at the time. Uh, not many people, uh, even uh, the Samsung uh, product uh, was available in the United States uh, market, but people uh, didn't, um, not many people uh, bought that uh, Samsung and uh, LG, but recently, uh, Samsung uh, cell phone, one of the top now. So uh, many people uh, buy Samsung uh, cell phone. Uh, even uh, they didn't have the uh, 
experience, but uh, people say it's good and the commercial and so on. Then uh, Samsung's uh, reputation uh, high now. So uh, from uh, this uh, transcendent view, we know from others' ex uh, experience, uh, my experience, but we can uh, say uh, uh, quality uh, with uh, something numeric data, but we still know that is good, that is not good. And next view is a product based view. Uh, from this view, quality is a precise and measurable variable. Because we know quantity, quantity of uh, some ingredient or attribute, so using that quantity, um, we can measure the quality. For example, uh, when we buy something like a, a can of soup, and then it says uh, the uh, quantity, uh, 10 ounce, you know, 12 ounce, like that. Then um, not many people uh, do like this, but uh, open and then uh, pour and, and measure. If it says you know, 10 ounce, but nine ounce, not good like that, right? And sometimes you know, it says you know, the quantity is you know, 100, but you know, open and then count and then only uh, uh, 90. And you now we can say it is not good. So by quantity, uh, we can uh, measure uh, the product uh, quality, that is the product based view quality. And user based view. Uh, there is no, this is no idiosyncratic and uh, personal. Person to person, uh, some uh, there is something. Then uh, person to person, some per, uh, someone uh, says no, it is not good, but someone says it is good. For example, um, you know the Dollar Tree. Um, the store, uh, everything is now one dollar. Mm. Yeah, not everything, but uh, many uh, things now one dollar. Personally, I like mm, affordable, cheap. So I like there, but some people oh, some uh, some people say. Oh, it is not good. Cheap one like that. The same one. Someone says it good. It is good. Someone says it is not good. So it is credit and uh, personal. Uh, this quality uh, from this view, uh, relative. Uh, some people say good. Some people uh, say not good. Manufacturing based view. Uh, from this uh, view, quality is conformance to requirements such as design and specifications, deviation from the desired quality level, and then uh, this one is uh, manufacturing view, uh, based view quality is conformance uh, quality. Conformance quality is um, this uh, definition is now refers to the degree to which the product or service design specification are met. If I uh, design something like a um, one inch, One inch mm, something device, one inch. Then this design specification is one plus minus uh, 
uh, point one. Then the range like uh, point nine to one point one. So, if I uh, design like this, uh, one plus one plus minus uh, point one, then produce something, and then uh, measure. It is like a point nine five. Then this one is in, uh, in range. So, design specification, if something meet the design specification, then we can say it is good. If I uh, produce something and then uh, measure 1.2, then out of range, then we can say this is, this is not good because this one doesn't meet um, design and specification. So using this design and uh, specification meet, then we say it is good. Uh, doesn't meet, then we can say it is not good. So manufacturing uh, from the manufacturing based view it is the uh, conformance quality then conform by this uh, design and specification then we can say it is good it is not good okay next one Oops. Okay. Value based view. Um, long time earlier, uh, we defined the uh, value. I don't know if you uh, remember that. Value equals quality over price. Quality over price. So, If there are two identical product, then means the same quality, then if it is the, the first one $100, then the second one is, uh, let's say, uh, fifty dollars. They are the same, identical. Then, which one you will buy? Absolutely, you will buy the second one, because some says uh, it is not cheap. Yes. It is cheap, but uh, from uh, this value-based view, if I uh, give the quality like 100, 100 quality, because they are identical, the same quality level, then uh, first one's value is 100 divided by 100, quality over price, then value equals 1, the second one, 100 quality divided by 50 price, so value is 2. Yes, no, people say uh, it is cheap, so we, uh, we will buy this one. Yes, it's cheap, but from this value-based view, because the second one's value is higher than first one buy. So from uh, this value-based view, 
if uh, product value is high, then higher quality. So from this uh, value-based view, uh, compare value and then higher value, uh, higher quality. Okay, next one. The dimensions of design uh, quality. When we design product, then we should uh, consider these things uh, to uh, improve quality. First, the performance. Performance is the primary product or service characteristics. Like, uh, um, if I buy, uh, if we buy uh, car, then uh, what you uh, consider? Maybe uh, speed and uh, um, driving ability and so on like that. So for the car, primary uh, characteristic is you know, like a driving a ball, something like that. That is performance. And then features, kind of secondary characteristics, uh, added touches. Like a uh, sun move, uh, moon move, and then uh, some uh, technology uh, making a, uh, easy something and safety features and so on. And reliability, uh, consistency. So buy a uh, new one and then uh, one year later, two years later, uh, the same uh, performance, that is uh, reliability and durability, user for life. Mm, you know, certain product uh, new, when it is new, then it is very good. But uh, sooner, like uh, one year later, two year later, uh, uh, suddenly the performance is not good and then the um, breakdown and so on like that. Durability is now one of the dimension quality when we measure quality. And then serviceability, uh, when it's uh, needed uh, repair, then uh, how uh, easy uh, to get the uh, service and response. Um, when I need something, then I call a service center. Then uh, they said, uh, you need uh, because uh, something you need to uh, wait like uh, one month like that. So kind of uh, customer service. Uh, response late, quick. That is no uh, one of uh, also one of the uh, dimension. And then aesthetic, sensory characteristics. Uh, sounds good, look good, and uh, feel good, and so on. And then reputation. Um, kind of uh, from my experience, from others' experience. Um, they say uh, it is good, not good. You know, at this time, um, because of uh, the uh, corona by virus, um, stay home and then uh, using online uh, order something. You know, uh. Mm, When we uh, choose uh, the seller, then uh, using their uh, rate, uh, ninety percent, ninety-nine percent reputation, higher reputation, then uh, we can uh, trust and then uh, buy. So reputation also one of the uh, uh, design quality dimension. So. 
if I'm on a um, service uh, service uh, provider or uh, manufacturer, then uh, uh, I should we should uh, consider these things to uh, improve or uh, uh, maintain uh, quality. Next one is the uh, cost of quality. To improve quality, to maintain quality, we need a uh, cost. Now, there are four types of uh, cost of quality. Appraisal cost, prevention cost, internal failure cost, external failure cost. Appraisal cost. Hmm. To measure uh, quality, we should uh, mm, test. So uh, appraisal cost uh, means the cost of task to ensure that the product or uh, process is acceptable. So test or inspection cost, they are appraisal cost. Okay. By testing and inspection, if we find something uh, wrong, like a cause of defect, then we should do something like a, um, action to eliminate the cause. What is the cause of the defect? Then we should uh, repair or redesign and so on. So uh, not to make uh, defect, we need prevent prevention. So uh, uh, this uh, action, uh, then uh, we need the uh, equipment, we need the uh, people, employee, worker, uh, so time also, uh, cost. So they are prevention cost. Okay, test, inspect, and then find something, and then uh, redesign, uh, find the cause of the defect, and then uh, uh, fix, and so on. But still, there is chance to make something wrong. Then if we find uh, that wrong or defect in, internally in process, uh, we need to uh, do something. So if we find uh, something wrong, defect internally, then maybe we need to scrap, rework, uh, repair, and so on. So they are internal failure cost. Okay, still uh, there is chance. Even if we try to find uh, something wrong, uh, change, uh, and so on, internally find and then uh, scrap, and so on. Still, there is chance uh, defect uh, which to customer. Then we need a uh, warranty replacement. Then because of that, uh, uh, reputation uh, drop, and then uh, lose customer and so on. So they are external failure cost. Total quality management, TQM. Mm, this one is uh, like uh, 10 years ago, TQM uh, was a hot uh, issue, but no longer uh, TQM is a uh, hot issue because uh, every uh, company do this. Total quality management is the collective effort of all managers and employees. So entire company uh, try to make better product, improve quality. So the entire organization, everybody try to make better product, improve quality. Then. Um, the, uh, this one uh, necessary means to in increase sales by reducing cost, 
improve quality, make it better, and uh, finally uh, develop a competitive advantage. So make it better, cheaper, maybe faster, then uh, they can uh, achieve the competitive advantage, then uh, increase sales. But anyway, a total quality management, say again, everybody in entire uh, organization try to make better product, improving quality, maybe uh, reduce cost too. And next one is Six Sigma um, quality. Sigma You know, Sigma capital, uh, oops, go back. Upper case, the Sigma looks like this. When we use the sum of then uh, upper case, the Sigma. But this Six Sigma, uh, in this Six Sigma, Sigma looks like this. And then this one is a standard deviation, standard deviation, standard deviation. So, using this in the standard deviation, uh, this in the standard deviation uh, using um, the quality control, uh, for the quality control, Okay, go back. Okay, next one. If a company use the sigma, mm, for the quality control, um, if population is normal distribution, then uh, from mean one sigma plus minus one sigma plus minus two sigma plus minus uh, three sigma, this range in this range, I believe you took uh, statistics and uh, plus minus one sigma. Then uh, inside is um, about 68%. Plus minus 2 sigma inside is about 95%. And plus minus 3 sigma, then uh, 90. Nine point seven three percent. So if a company use plus minus three sigma quality control like a limit, then Inside is 99.973% and then outside is 0.27%. So if a company using a plus minus 3 sigma quality control, then if a company produce 100, then up to 0.27, uh, 0.27 defect allowed. Produce 1,000, then 2.7. Up to 2.7 uh, items. Defect allowed. 
10,000 produce 10,000 and then 27 up to 27 100 thousand output and then up to 270 defect allowed 1 million 2700 defect allowed so if 1 million products output and then up to 2700 too many too many defect allowed so in this uh, six sigma quality control plus minus uh, six sigma then six sigma plus minus six sigma then inside is 99.9999999 like that so using a plus minus uh, six sigma then a process that is in six sigma control will produce no more than two defects so two out of billion It sounds like perfect. So, produce no, uh, 1 billion, and then if defect is no, less than 2, then uh, say the process is good, working good. More than 2, like 3, 4 uh, defect then uh, the process is not good, maybe something wrong, and so on like that. Two, uh, billion is too many, billion is too many to measure. So many companies use billion. So one out of million. So many companies use one out of million as the Six Sigma quality control uh, concept. Uh, for example, uh, Hyundai, Hyundai uh, automobile use PPM. PPM. This one is the same as uh, one hour of million. So one PPM problem per million. So uh, when uh, can they uh, evaluate uh, suppliers using this PPM? So if a uh, supplier uh, produce you know, one PPM, then uh, give a uh, five star rating, and then uh, based on this you no know, two, three, four, five, then uh, four star three star and so on like that. So um, the same uh, concept, two out of billion or one out of million is the uh, same concept uh, if they use uh, six sigma college control. So two out of billion and one out of billion, either way, uh, six sigma control. Uh, the, uh, the same uh, concept. Okay, next one. The single system. This one is fail safe design philosophy. Um, by Sigeo Singo, uh, Toyota uh, company, uh, co developer of the uh, to the uh, just-in-time system. We will uh, talk about uh, just-in-time uh, system uh, maybe next uh, class. 
And Singo has argued um, SQC, statistical quality control method, do not uh, prevent effect. So uh, instead, this fail safe design uh, philosophy um, prevent defect. Okay, for example, um, the plug type type A, type B, type C, type D, and uh, I build up uh, more uh, type uh, like this, uh, more uh, plug type. Uh, I traveled uh, many countries. Um, we use this type, type B. Uh, Korea looks like this, but uh, type F. Type F uh, looks like there is no, this one. Looks like this. And still, uh, Type C uh, work now for Type uh, F. And this one, uh, I don't know which country uh, use this one. You know, uh, uh, Euro countries use this one, but then. Uh, England, uh, Scotland, and uh, UK use this type. And then this type, uh, this one is uh, similar, but uh, this one uh, diagonal like this. Uh, when I went to New Zealand, uh, they use this type. Then Japan use this type. Korea used uh, similar this one. Okay, voltage 100 to uh, 127. Uh, in the United States, 100 to 127. But Asia, some other uh, Asia, uh, including uh, Korea and uh, uh, Europe, used uh, 220 to 240. And this one too. UK. 220, uh, New Zealand use 220. So, uh, Switzerland, uh, 220, 220, 220, 220, and so on. Except this one and this one, all others were uh, 220. Why uh, use different uh, shape? Because if uh, Japanese uh, from uh, travel from Japan to United States, the same uh, voltage, so they are comparable, it is okay. But from the uh, United States to other country uh, like Germany and uh, Korea, UK, is they are not uh, comparable. Because this one is uh, for the uh, 110, but they are 120, 220. So, bring a uh, electric uh, device and, uh, and plug in uh, other country using a 220 bond so prevent the kind of uh, fail using different uh, shape like this uh, using a different shape different uh, color to prevent effect failure so using a color, different color, like a red, red, and then blue, 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 and so on. So that is a single system fail safe design philosophy to prevent making a defect or a failure. Okay, next one is uh, Pokayoke.
This one is Japanese. This one is checklist, like in, uh, you know, uh, when you go uh, shop, then uh, if you bring checklist, then uh, um, uh, check one by one, then uh, and uh, buy something, then uh, you buy what uh, whatever you need. But without checklist, then sometimes uh, forget. Aha, I should buy something, but I forgot. That is a to-do list, right? Uh, our shopping list is a checklist and then to-do uh, to list, uh, do something. But usually this uh, Pokayoke is uh, not to-do list. You know, when you uh, drive, then uh, uh, recommend, like, uh, don't uh, text when you drive. Why? Maybe uh, texting uh, while you are driving, it can be cause of accident. So uh, in uh, production, manufacturing, uh, maybe service, uh, when you do, then if you do something, then it can be cause of uh, accident, incident, and then uh, cause of making a defect. So Pokayoke also fail safe philosophy and then checklist, not to do, list. That is Pokayoke. ISO 9000. When we uh, measure quality, then uh, we need a certain uh, like a specification or level. Over the uh, specification or the level, then we can say it is good, uh, low than uh, low than that uh, level or specification. Uh, we can say it is not good. That specification or uh, level, uh, international uh, standard, that is an ISO nine thousand. Many companies, uh, it says more than uh, 100, uh, mm, like 140 countries uh, follow this uh, ISO 9000 for the uh, quality standard. standard. Um, in the United States, uh, this ISO 9000 is not uh, popular because the uh, US standard is uh, oh, uh, over this uh, IS 9000. So if the uh, US company uh, meet the uh, United States standard, then uh, uh, IS 9000 already uh, satisfied. Uh, when I went to uh, Bangkok, Thailand, then I saw many uh, signs IS 9000. IS 9100, ISO 9400, uh, based on uh, what uh, type of uh, product or service, uh, different uh, number, 9100, 9200, and so on like that. So many Asian uh, companies, uh, also in uh, China, use uh, uh, this uh, IS 9000 for the standard uh, Markham Baldrige Award um, this one is uh, United States uh, annual award to promote uh, quality awareness uh, improve the uh, US companies uh, quality uh, give this uh, award um main purpose of this Markham Baldrige Award is uh, to help companies review and structure their quality program. You know, uh, this uh, Mary Wood University in a business program uh, accredited by uh, APS, uh, AP, AB, mm, so something like that. That is kind of uh, mm, similar uh, this one, uh, accredited by that one. 
ACBSP. So uh, using that uh, um, accreditation, uh, our uh, business programs and, uh, um, structure and then uh, quality of the teaching and program uh, review then uh, meet that uh, requirement then uh, they give uh, that uh, accreditation similar so using this Malcolm Baldrige award uh, help you uh, United States uh, companies uh, review uh, their structure about the uh, quality program based on uh, those uh, categories uh, companies uh, leadership the information and analysis how they use uh, information and how analyze uh, that information to improve quality and strategic quality planning how they uh, plan and then uh, how they use the human resource and so on. So based on uh, these you know, categories and um, evaluate uh, the structure and uh, quality program of company, and then uh, based on that uh, quality program, then uh, give this you know, award. So. If a company uh, award the winner uh, companies and the customer uh, trust uh, the company's uh, pro uh, product or service, so they are um, award the winners: uh, Motorola, IBM, Jurax, Cadillac, and FedEx, and so on. They were. Um, Markham Baldrige Award winners. And service quality management uh, measurement uh, we call sub call. Okay, so far we uh, talk about uh, product uh, quality, then how can we measure uh, service quality? So using a sub call, then uh, measure service quality. So using uh, questionnaires, kind of a survey, ask a customer, and then uh, uh, measure uh, a service quality. So uh, the survey question, uh, including uh, those uh, question uh, the categories, uh, reliability of uh, the service, the responsiveness of the service, and so on, then uh, based on this uh, category uh, and then uh, major quality service quality and now they uh, we use an online internet uh, uh, so uh, how can we measure uh, online based uh, service we call uh, e sub core actually e sub core so uh, major e-service, internet online service, uh, based on those uh, uh, category uh, questionnaire, like access accessibility, how can uh, access easily and so on, uh, flexibility, easy of uh, navigation, and then uh, trust, uh, this one is trust and uh, security, uh, and so on, then uh, measure uh, e-service, online service quality. So it is a kind of e-sub-call. Okay, that's all for uh, chapter 10. Uh, before uh, we go, uh, this moment. Change screen. Okay, uh, that is a little um, our schedule uh, change. Um,
Today uh, supposed to be uh, chapter 9, but we already uh, finished chapter 9, so I uh, changed a little bit uh, our schedule. So today we finish chapter 10. Next week uh, we will uh, finish chapter 12 and 13 and 14, following week. And then uh, review. The final, uh, I will review about the now final questions based on uh, assignment. And uh, previous uh, revised uh, uh, schedule, uh, final uh, scheduled on 6, now May 6, but I change uh, final on May 4th. Okay, so uh, final uh, will be on Monday, May 4th, from 4 to 520. Uh, there are four questions, four questions now from uh, assignment 1 to, two, uh, one to four, six. The final uh, will be real time, real time. Uh, so uh, please reserve your time and uh, day and time, Monday, May 4th, from 4 to 520. I will uh, email you individually final question. Then uh, start from 4 to and then finish by 520. It's like uh, uh, doing an assignment. Uh, you receive final questions, four questions, and then uh, print out or using uh, the computer solve the problems and then uh, make a file like in a, uh, doing a assignment uh, make a word file or uh, take a picture or a PDF file upload on Moodle I will make the uh, drop uh, the final drop uh, uh, on uh, Moodle so please reserve your time and a day for the final. Okay, that's all and see you next Monday.